when satan came to jesus he did not even respect the fact that he had been in constant touch with the father he said if you are the son of god turn this stone to bread do you know if jesus fell for that temptation both him and the person who did not fast will have the same failure now you imagine how frustrating that is and jesus said verse 4 it is written not i think not respect my prayer it is written welcome to chat now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word giveth life as you listen and watch may you experience the transformative power of god's life now for a very long time and i want you to please pay attention for a very long time in the body of christ for some reason we've had people take the option of the ministry of prayer or the option of the ministry of the word so on one hand we have people who believe in the ministry of prayer as the ultimate recommendation for growth impartation excellence and advancement and then on the other hand we have the people who believe in the power of the word exclusively as the secret to growth and for a very long time in the body of christ we've had these divisions and this contention so we have prayer people as we call it and then we have word people as we call it and here the apostles are correcting us that something is wrong with that understanding that if you are to grow holistically you are not given the liberty to choose the ministry of prayer or the ministry of the word it says we will give ourselves continually to the ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word you see one of the dangers that is plaguing the body of christ today is not necessarily ignorance i submit to you that by the grace of god god has helped us to a measure to be able to bring levels of revelation and knowledge in the body of christ but the challenge largely and the reason why we are not able to become people of stature is because of imbalance negligence of certain dimensions and over emphasis of certain dimensions now please look up there are many women here and um, i know that you cook well in gombe state if i'm right say amen. amen hallelujah now if you are preparing a wonderful meal say you are preparing your soup salt is needed your tomatoes and your vegetables are all needed but they are not all needed at the same degree or to the same degree is that true if you fetch a handful of vegetables you don't put a handful of salt but salt is needed now when your whole food becomes one measure of salt is that food again you have destroyed it but is salt wrong no salt is not wrong but how you applied it is what can destroy that whole soup so the problem is not the revelations listen carefully the problem is not the revelation and the different truths that we have the problem is that it has not been arranged in a methodical order that builds the believer holistically so you find out that we keep doing what is right and yet we never get results so there are people who pray sincerely and yet you find out that I, my the energy i am dissipating in prayer versus the results that follow is not matching then we have people who supposedly study the word of god and criticize people who pray and say it's not about prayer it's just about the word of god and they themselves become frustrated so people in the body of christ today are confused what then controls the results that motivate my christian experience there are sincere men of god who walk in holiness and righteousness sincere people who love god with all their heart they have applied everything they know to do that makes for growth and makes for excellence and it looks like there's no results
every time you have a problem in your life i assure you the problem is not with god let god be true and all men liars so my assignment tonight within the minutes that i have is to bring together these various groups and help you understand that all of you are carrying pieces of the truth and none of you will excel in isolation by the time the ministry of prayer says the ministry of the word you have no business just pray you will be in for a bitter frustration by the time you ignore the ministry of prayer and focus on the ministry of the word and say i'm just studying the word you are still going to get into big error we will give ourselves continually to the ministry of prayer and the word are we learning now this is very powerful that means both ministries are important for the holistic growth and development of the believer now please look up the ministry of the word and prayer was classically revealed in scripture by Jesus Christ himself number one the Bible calls him the word of God the logos of God are we together then when we get to Mark chapter 4 the Bible says when Jesus was baptized of the Holy Ghost listen carefully this is the word now you would think because he was the word he would not need to engage prayer again but as the word the moment he encounters he encountered the spirit of god the bible says the holy spirit himself drove him to the wilderness and he was there praying for 40 days no food no water who was praying the word so even the word prayed as the word of god he was engaged in prayer and engaged in fasting why would he have to pray again when he was the word of god the ministry of the word and prayer now watch this give us mark chapter matthew chapter 4 matthew chapter 4 will we have it projected let me just use my own bible here so we okay the bible says then was jesus we are reading from verse 1 to maybe 6 or so then was jesus led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil verse 2 the bible says when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights he was hungry now watch carefully we are about to see the unity of the ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word the bible says the tempter came to him who did the tempter come to the man who had been praying and fasting for 40 days when he came to him he said if thou be the son of god command that these stones be made bread verse 4 but jesus answered i just finished praying is that what he said you thought that just because he had prayed for 40 days now satan came to him what he used to drive satan was not his prayer he said it is written <laughs> haven't prayed for 40 days haven't prayed for 40 nights if he did not know what was written satan would still defeat him as if all of his prayer was a waste listen the secret of his victory he did not say satan leave me alone I just finished praying that means his prayer alone did not drive satan in spite of his prayer and fasting the first person he met after prayer, you would think that prayer and fasting should drive satan away but the first person he met after prayer and fasting was satan and satan was not shaking under the anointing he came to him and he said you are hungry turn this stone to bread we will give ourselves continually to the ministry of prayer and the word when satan came to jesus he did not even respect the fact that he had been in constant touch with the father he said if you are the son of god turn this stone to bread 
do you know if jesus fell for that temptation both him and the person who did not fast will have the same failure now you imagine how frustrating that is and jesus said verse 4 it is written not i think not respect my prayer it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Satan. Verse 5. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple. Verse 6 now. And said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is... Who is saying it is written? Satan himself now satan has switched now you want to show me you know scripture let's discuss scripture i also know what is written it is written keep it there please he shall give his angels he's testing his knowledge of the world since i see that your life is all about respecting what is written let me see what discernment you have now the discernment that has come from the place of prayer is what is assisting him to be accurate in ministering the word because satan now is also using scripture it is written he shall give his angels charge concerning thee and in their hands shall they bear thee lest thou dash your foot against the stone so just because it is written if he did not have the foundation of prayer he will fall for that temptation because the temptation now is according to what is written are you seeing the danger of just having a word life without prayer the devil will use what is written and destroy you because your respect is to the ministry of the word and not prayer it is prayer that is able to build that discernment in Acts chapter 16 the Bible talks about Paul the Bible talks about a lady who had the spirit of divination and that this girl brought great gain are we together now Get great gain for her masters and when she saw the apostles she said these are holy men of God she was using truth but it took discernment from the residue of a healthy prayer life he said although what you are saying is right the spirit that is behind what you are saying is wrong and he rebuked the lady Many believers do not understand the role that prayer plays in the life of the believer and the role that the word plays in the life of the believer. You will never be able to be a person of stature and balance and accuracy and efficiency until you understand the ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word. Both of them do not do the same thing. They work together harmoniously in synergy to produce a victorious believer. But prayer has its own ministry. There are dimensions that prayer covers. There are dimensions that the word covers. The key is to understand that it is a combination of the ministry of prayer and the word. That was the formula that the apostles left with us any deviation out of this formula will lead us into various shades of error we will give ourselves continually to the ministry of prayer and of the word we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.